Hey, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna be talking about this boom arm you see right here on the table. So the people at Fulame were nice enough to send me this boom arm for me to check out and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. This is not sponsored by them. They just sent it to me to review and I'm gonna tell you what I really think about it. So first of all, let's check out the box that comes included. So we have a manual with different languages and it shows you really useful information like this actually can hold up to 3.5 pounds or 1.5 kilograms and it comes with a 3.8 nut and a 3.8 to 5 nut adapter and this actually shows you different type of microphones that you can hold and we're gonna put that to the test today and a nice QR code for those kind of people like me who would like to watch a video because when I first got it and I'm gonna put this away uh, and it comes included with some cable management what I was gonna say is that when I first got it I noticed that it was a little difficult to open up the boom arm but that's actually by design I thought that this was a bad unit from the beginning, but no, this boom arm is made to last and it's made to hold a lot of weight. The reason why it's tough to like open it is so when you put your microphone, it just doesn't like fall or droop down. <laughs> so let's check out some microphones and I have a scale to show you the weight. So first, let's check out the Universal Audio SD1, our standard dynamic microphone. This one weighs 771 grams and I'm using this little quick release adapter that doesn't really add that much weight to it. Uh, 771 grams, you can make that conversion into whatever units you want to. Uh, so let's check out how to place this on this boom arm. So the easiest way is to just open it like this. You know, once it's uh, clamped into the desk. Actually, let's talk about that first. Um, it comes with this. Basically, all boom arms have the same mechanism. Uh, it's a clamp and it has some nice rubber so the good thing is that when you put it on a desk it's not going to scratch your desk or whatever surface that you put it onto so you basically just get it close to the edge that you want to put it into um, sc screw it from the bottom and once you're ready you open up your arm first one the other one and then put your microphone in there and obviously get your microphone positioned however you want to as you can see, you can move it around and, you know, one-handed. So the cool thing about it is that it holds a lot of weight. So is this the boom arm that you need if you're doing a podcast where the microphone needs to be extremely flexible? I personally don't think so. Uh, if you want a one of those boom arms that is super easy to move around, this might not be the one for you. It, you know, it could be, but I will suggest this better for people that want to have a microphone position and set it and forget it. If you want something really sturdy that's gonna hold a lot of weight for especially uh, expensive microphones, this is definitely the one. So let's try another one, stick this out of the way. This one has a large transformer inside and obviously the body is made out of metal. This is the Buck 187. Let's reset the scale back to zero. This one is 869 grams, so heavier than the SD1 and Again, the quick release for me to make this whole video a lot faster instead of just screwing it around, you know, it will take a lot longer. So as you can see, uh, heavier, but not a problem. So let me actually extend it even more. So this is extended all the way and the microphone is still holding perfectly fine. Uh, I will not worry about having this microphone on this boom arm at all, protecting my investment. If I invested a lot of money on a microphone, I wanna make sure that whenever I put my microphone on a stand, it's actually holding it and it's not gonna fall. Let's move on and put another microphone. And last but not least, this is the heaviest microphone I have. Let me just close this up so I can see what I'm doing. So this is the Sphere microphone and it comes at a whopping 1,176 grams. So obviously the shape, the components, uh, the size of the microphone makes you know a lot heavier. So Let's see how it does on this boom arm. Same thing, go right here. And voila, not a problem. So, you know, you can set this microphone, set it and forget it. If I wanna have this microphone for podcast, uh, you know, if I wanna put it upside down, if I wanna, you know, move it to somebody else. Once you have the weight on the boom arm, it actually becomes easier to move it uh, and to adjust it, you know, left to right, up and down. Without the weight of the microphone, it's a little harder to just to get it uh, 
out uh, of the uh, normal position basically uh, but once you have the microphone it's a lot easier to use again this video is not actually sponsored by them but they did send me this to check out and i will be keeping it because this is an awesome unit to have in the studio whether i'm doing a, a zoom presentation or if i'm doing a podcast of actually if i want to record something and i want to just clap this somewhere put a microphone and do an acoustic guitar especially if i'm recording myself and i don't want to set up uh, another mic stand i can clearly put this on a stand record my guitar record my vocals and you know call it a day it's a lot simpler than setting up a stand so that's pretty much it. If you want to get one of these Fulame X36 boom arms, I'm going to leave the links down in the description. And as usual, like and subscribe to this channel so I can keep creating more content for you. All right, see you in the next one.